How to save water in six easy ways. Are you really doing all you can to conserve water, our most precious resource? Here are some simple ways you may not have thought of. You will need food coloring, a water jug, a broom, and a spray bottle. Step one, only ask restaurant servers to bring you a glass of water and refill it if you're planning to drink it. Step two, make sure your toilet isn't leaking by putting a drop of food coloring in the tank. If it shows up in the bowl a few minutes later and you haven't flushed, you have a leak. A leaky toilet can waste 200 gallons of water a day. Step three, if you drink tap water at home, keep a jug of it in the fridge so you don't have to run the water until it's cold. Step four, wash fruits and vegetables in a basin rather than under running water. Then use that water and any you use to boil vegetables to water your plants. In addition to saving water, you'll give them extra nutrients. Or save boiled veggie water to start a soup stock. If you have a dehumidifier, use the water on plants. Step five, sweep steps, driveways, and sidewalks rather than hosing them off. Step six, keep a small spray bottle of water on your bathroom sink. Instead of running the faucet, use it to wet your toothbrush before applying paste. Think of how much water you can save with a few spritzes. Did you know? The average American wastes up to 30 gallons of water every day. How to conserve water indoors. W.H. Auden wrote, thousands have lived without love, not one without water. Indeed, the average American home uses 140 to 170 gallons of water every day. Cut that in half with some water saving tips. You will need a water efficient toilet, a little food coloring, a low flow shower head, faucet aerators, a dishwasher that uses water efficiently, a water saving washer, and to change a few old habits. Optional. A brick. Step one. Replace your old water guzzler with a low flow toilet. By law, new toilets must use 1.6 gallons of water per flush or less to get the job done, compared to five to seven gallons in the old days. Step two. If you can't get a new toilet, make sure yours doesn't have a leak, which can waste up to 100 gallons a day. Put some food coloring in the tank and watch to see if the color spreads to the bowl without flushing. Save even more water by not flushing every single time. Think, if it's yellow, let it mellow. If it's brown, flush it down. Step three, don't linger in the shower and maximize shower efficiency by installing a water-saving shower head. These use only 2.5 gallons per minute. Step four, put low flow faucet aerators on all your faucet heads. Step five, turn off the faucet while shaving or brushing your teeth and don't let it run while scrubbing the kitchen counter either. Step six, a leaky faucet can waste 20 gallons of water a day. Check for leaks around the house and fix or replace plumbing if necessary. Step seven, when buying a new dishwasher, look for water saving models. Save more water by rinsing dishes only lightly or not at all before loading them. Wait until you have a full load before running your dishwasher. Step eight, finally, new clothes washers can save on both water and electric bills. Look for a washer with an Energy Star label and a water factor of 9.5 or below. As with the dishwasher, only wash full loads. Did you know? New York City's water use dropped 28% after the city installed meters, gave rebates for low-flow toilets, and got aggressive about fixing leaks.